Hey everyone, Charting Man Dan from ChartGuys.com. You know, behind every single video that we put out every single day, there's a wonderful community of traders that we want to invite you to be a part of. Try the free seven-day trial and gain access to our live market broadcasts every morning and afternoon. Interact with hundreds of like-minded traders or take part in one of our dedicated chat rooms, each led by an analyst that's there to answer your questions in real time. Our trial is risk-free with absolutely no commitment or credit card required to experience the TCG community. For those looking for a head start in technical analysis, check out our entries and exits course in the link below in the description. Get up to speed with the fundamentals of TCG technical analysis and experience over five hours of great community-driven trading education. Looking at XLK, tech sector, Apple, and Facebook on the daily weekly. And this sector is on absolute fire. We had a little mini bull flags, brief consolidation, bulls buying the dip, closing at the high of the day Thursday. Full-on momentum on Friday, closing at the high of the day at the all-time high. And we're looking for this momentum to carry into next week. We'll see how high these bulls can take it. They are certainly impressive overall. We're above the upper Bollinger Band. We'll update those levels because we don't have much resistance otherwise to be looking at. And they are in absolute full control. Our new support is established at the low of this consolidation, 56.31. Anything above that level maintains a higher low uptrend, keeping these bulls in full control. And the weekly time frame above the upper Bollinger Band as well. We'll have to update that to see if the bulls can maintain that next week to be in this full-on bull streak that really is unlike anything we've seen in a long time. This sector is not slowing down. And I certainly would not be anywhere near this sector bearish until we break the higher low pattern. That is a bare minimum in terms of looking for pullback. We can't be trying to time the top here. It's the exact opposite of a falling knife scenario. When a stock is dumping and it has no supports and it keeps dropping down and people say, well, it has to bounce eventually, this is the exact opposite scenario. Shorts are saying, well, we have to pull back. We can't run forever, but there's no resistance. The bulls are easily running with it and these shorts are getting toasted. Apple on the daily time frame finally getting a bull break. And we had a tight range. We held the middle Bollinger Band three days in a row. We did have a, a little mini bear break in the sense that we broke below the price over the past two weeks or broke below that price. But we held this middle Bollinger Band and we know the sector has been on fire. We know the market overall has been on fire. So that did a good job of keeping a bunch of bears from jumping on it and knocking the price down even further. So we held on to that middle Bollinger Band support. We closed up near the high of the day with a bullish reversal Dragonfly Doji on Thursday. We confirmed it in a big way on Friday. We closed at the high of the day over the highest price we've seen in quite some time. We filled the mini gap here at 154.72. We're looking at the all-time high, 156.65. And the weekly time frame is extremely bullish. We had just uh, an inside bar, just tightening sideways range. And I kept pointing out how it was a laggard and it was weak, comparatively so the, the chart on its own was extremely strong for apple it was just weak compared to amazon netflix google all these names that were just on absolute fire apple's looking to be the laggard here and we'll see if we can get this all-time high next week the sooner the better to give those bulls those confidence that confidence to be running up here to 160 that will be our target with a new all-time high so last we got Facebook here. Facebook as well. Brief consolidation. This was the psychology I was talking about with a potential cup and handle pattern where granted it doesn't fit the exact definition, but I'm interested in the psychology of the pattern, not the, the details that you know someone can argue about in a dictionary. I'm looking at the left side, the all-time high. I'm looking at consolidation. I'm looking at the right side. Unable to break the left side, we consolidate briefly. We form the handle and then we break out and we close at the high of the day. And we're looking at this all-time high, 153.60. We broke it by a couple pennies. It's not a convincing break at this point, but if we see another big green day on Monday and follow through, that is a confirmation of that cup and handle pattern in my opinion and we will be looking up at 155 and 160 resistance levels as psychological bullish macd cross and this is a really strong move setting higher lows on the way up for facebook and the weekly time frame bull flag confirmed so we were watching the bull flag form we saw the bulls buy the dip two weeks ago we saw the bulls get ready to confirm the bull flag and then we finally got it at the end of the week that confirmation and the bulls are looking for more so i appreciate you watching tech sector on absolute fire we'll see how, how long the bulls can keep it up here and we'll check back in on Monday. See you then.